What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Gen 9 favorite. We got ourselves a Life Orb Cerule Edge team for Series 3 that also has Tinglu and another Gen 9 favorite, Baxcalibur. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Genes community. It really goes a long way. So thank you to all of my subscribers helping me grow as a content creator. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to team creator Clover Bells. Thank you so much for coming in clutch again and making an absolute banger of a team. Huge shout out to you. We'll be leaving Clover Bells' channel down in the description below. So if you guys want the Poke Pace and the, to see this team more in depth, Make sure you go check over his, his channel. Again, link is down in the description below. But we got Cerule Edge as our first Pokemon for today's team preview. And Cerule Edge, awesome Pokemon. Ghost and Fire type, and he looks sick as well. He's got Flash Fire, the Life Orb that, like we already mentioned, and then it's got Bitter Blade, Shadow Sneak, Terror Blast, and Protect with that Grass Terror type. And I believe this is the best moveset for Cerule Edge. I used Cerule Edge ever since the beginning, and this seems to be the best moveset and working best in the meta at the moment. We got Gyarados in the second slot. I'm seeing more and more and more of Gyarados on the rank ladder. And I love it. I love me some Gyarados. He has Intimidate, Citrus Berry as item, Waterfall, Thunder Wave, Taunt, and Helping Hand. We got Fluttermane in the third slot. Do I really need to say anything about this? It's Fluttermane. Protosynthesis, Boost Energy, Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, Protect. I do like having Thunderbolt on this one, considering it can throw off your opponents and uh, pick up some big time KOs, especially on Gyarados style, now that it's in the meta. We got Ting Lu in our fourth slot, our only Legends of Ruin Pokemon, with the Vessel of Ruins as its ability to lower special attack all across the field. It has Assault Vest as its item to make it a bit bulkier on that side. Then it's got EQ, Payback, which is a cool little dark move, Stomp and Cantrum, and Heavy Slam for its moveset. Baxcalibur is going to be our fifth Pokemon, and I love me some Baxcalibur. Baxcalibur's sick. He's really, really cool. Plus, I just love his types being with the Dragon and Ice. It's got Thermal Exchange as its ability, the Clear Amulet as its item, Glaive Rush, Icicle Crash, Dragon Dance, and Protect. So if we have a chance to set up this uh, Dragon Dance, I'm going to do it, give it plus one on speed, plus one on attack, and then this thing can go off. Amoogus is going to be our final Pokemon. Definitely need a support mod on this team, and Amoogus fits that slot perfectly. He has Regenerator, the Rocky Helmet, Rage Powder, Spore, Clear Smog, and Pollen Puff. Guys, if you want to run the team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some ones wins with this Cerule Edge and Baxcalibur Series 3 team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Ting Lu and Dragon 19. They also have Iron Hands, who's super good. Gargle Knackle, a nice big stall Pokemon. And then they got two great special attackers, Fluttermane and Iron Bundle. The Iron Bee, Iron Deli, Deli Bird, whatever you guys want to call it. But how should we go into this one? How should we play it? I mean, Cerulech isn't going to be bad here. I kind of like it, but the problem here is going to be nice little Ting Lu. So physical attackers are going to be our best friend. Do I have any way of getting speed? Not really, right? absolutely no way of getting speed i mean flutter is gonna be pretty solid with the booster energy so i could end up leading that but if they end up leading ting lu eh we could be in for a little bit of trouble so i might go flutter main and i might lead back caliber i don't think that could be too bad right flutter main baxi or i could go could go amoongus baxi if i wanted to but say they go flutter main and deli bird that could be a little bit of a problem for us could definitely be a problem for us but I really do like Fluttermane here. I'm going to go Fluttermane. I'm going to go back to Calibre. I am going to bring in Ting Lu in the back end. And then last but not least, probably Cerule Edge. I like Cerule Edge. I just want to use the kind of. But Gyarados might be better. Gyarados isn't bad. Intimidate can hit pretty hard. But I'm going to go Cerule Edge. We got Shadow Sneak first time priority. I think that can be pretty good for us. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But again, did not upload yesterday. Miss an upload. Hurts my soul. I always love uploading for you guys every single day, but I was super busy. Got done work a little later than normal. I had a hockey game at 6.30. Also wanted to hit the gym, and by the time I got home, it was like 9 o'clock, and I had to, had to get some sleep again because I had to be up for work the next day, but I know you guys like to hear my hockey stories. I had... I lit it up. I have, I absolutely lit it up last night in my game. Five points. We won 6-3. to three. I had three goals to assist, to assist, and it's just my hometown league, so this was like my easier league, and me and one of my, uh, like, hometown buddies like one of my best friends who i've been playing with for like ever are on the same team we have just been lighting it up we've just been killing it like our first game my buddy had four goals this time i had three and we, we just been killing it so it was a good time last night they're gonna light lead the iron bundle alongside with the flutter main and i feel like just from here i'm just gonna go into this and then do i terrestrialize i believe i should terrestrialize and do i go for d dance i kind of want to go for d dance so i'm gonna go for d dance here 
So I'm going to look for, for the Thunderbolt with the Fluttermane. Always good to have Thunderbolt. Again, it does work onto the Water-type Pokemon, and they're not really expecting it, so... That's going to work well. Plus, I can Terrasilize in the Poison-type, which is awesome. Considering if Fluttermane's going for that Fairy move, we can really soak it up and get off this D-Dance. So Icy Wind's going to come out here. He is going to slow us down. That kind of hurts his soul that we're going to slow us down. And from here, I wish we had Ice Shard. I really do. The Shadow Ball's going to fly, and you're going to pick up the KO after the Icy Wind. That hurts, man. That hurts, because I wasn't expecting the Icy Wind. I was expecting us to just get off the Thunderbolt, but it's okay. We're going to go plus one on attack, and I guess we'll go from there. I mean, Ting Lu's not going to be bad. I feel like we have to bring out Ting Lu here. We don't have Terra for Ting Lu, which kind of sucks, but <laughs> we're going to get after it. I'm going to go Ting Lu here, and hmm, what is the play for Ting Lu? I probably should have just swapped the Flutter main for Ting Lu, which probably would have been our best play. Probably would have been our best option, but from here, I'm just going to go for a Heavy Slam into you, and I'm just going to go for uh, Glaive Rush or Icicle Crash. I'm going to go for Glaive Rush here. Do as much damage as I can on the Iron Bundle. If it's Sashed, then we can just EQ next turn and protect. But yeah, that's my play. Plus one on attack. I'm loving it. So Iron B's going to Icy Wind again. He might be stuck on that. I don't know why he would Icy Wind again. I mean, he might be going after Max Calibre. I doubt it, but Max Calibre outspeeds you, and we're going to take you out. Oh, we have the clear amulet. I totally forgot, so we were actually plus one. On speed. Psyshox can come through here. And you're going to go after Backscout. Who's going to die to that? That sucks, man. You got you got psychic moves rocking with you? That really hurts the soul. So I terrestrialize the poison for nothing. Which sucks. But Heavy Science can come out here and get some work done. Maybe even KO the Flutterman, which I would love. I would adore that. It's Sash. You're the Sash Pokemon. How dare you? So Sash comes out here. Okay. And I got Swoodledge, which I can just Shadow Sneak, which is huge. So I'm going to Shadow Sneak down the Flutter main, and he's going to go into Iron Hands. So obviously, if you want to fake out, you're going to fake out. But yeah, I'm just going to go into Love the Little Shadow Sneak, and then at the same time, go into a Stomping Tantrum here. So we'll Stomping Tantrum up, Shadow Sneak 100% our play. Even though Flutter main might protect, I feel like we have to hit this Flutter main with Shadow Sneak, just in case it doesn't protect, you know? So that's going to be my play. We're going to see what Iron Hands really wants to do here. But I don't think we're sitting in a terrible spot, right? I don't think we're sitting in, like, that bad of a spot. I know they still have Terra. But I was kind of distracted the first couple turns. got ripped by the Deli Bird. <laughs> See, sometimes it's hard to, like, commentate and at the same time, like, talk about, like, my personal life and all that and play at the same time. Because this game takes a lot of thinking. You guys don't, or a lot of people who are just casual players don't realize, like, the amount of thought process that goes into, like, picking plays and playing at a high level. So it's kind of tough, but they end up not protecting, which is huge. We get rid of Fluttermane with Shadow Sneak. We're now going to stop and catch him into the uh, Iron Hands, which is good. And what is Iron Hands going to go for? Maybe a Drain Punch here? Yeah, you are going to go for a Drain Punch, which we soak. That is big time. That is big time that we soak, and we can get off this stop and catch him, which does a nice chunk of damage. So from here, I would love to protect my Ting Lu, but I simply cannot. I do not have Protect. And they also have a Ting Lu, so that's pretty much game for us, right? That's not looking good. That's looking no bueno. That is looking no good for us. The Strain Punch gets rid of me. Hmm. And I wish I could Terrasilize, but Bitter Blade's gonna be my play. I'm gonna double down on Iron Hands, but Iron Hands gonna get a huge chunk of HP back. Unless this KOs, I doubt it does, though. Yeah. Cause now Iron Hand's gonna KO me with Drain Punch, and then Ting Lu's gonna KO me with like EQ or Stomping Tantrum. And that's just a tough, that's a tough little outing for us. And of course you're rocking the berry. Of course you're rocking the berries. But first match is gonna go to our opponent. It's all good. You guys know I play better in the second match anyway. There's a Drain Punch, like I said. And now it's gonna, and out the Stomping Tantrum's gonna come. So, and you get a crit, a little bit of crit action. It's all right. You know what really screwed us over? That Flutter Main having a Psychic move. Like, come on, man. I terrestrialized to deal with you, not to get dumped on by you. But there's Stop and Catch him. That should KO me, right? No, it doesn't. But uh, there's no way we win this match. I'm just going to run it. I'm going to keep my lovely Shrew Edge live. And we're going to hop into our second match look for our first victory. Second match is on its way. And let's make up for that loss in match number one. Hop into our second match. And we're going up against a team with no Legends of Ruins. But they still got a very strong team. Gary the Gyarados is on the team, Warren Moon, they got the Iron Bundle and a Bomb of Snow weather combo, and then they got Serene over here, which can block first turn priority, and Dragonite, and everybody knows Dragonite's awesome, but they have a lot of special attackers, so Ting Lu's not going to be a bad lead here, right? I mean, they could intimidate me, but I feel like going into Fluttermane is also a very good call. 
but I really don't want to leave Team Loot and Fluttermane. So I might just go Fluttermane alongside with Back Calibur again and try to pull that off. I feel like that could be pretty good. We can go into both these guys. I think that's not a bad, not a bad lead for us, right? Try to get off a of Dragon Dance too. I think that could be really good. So you know what? I am gonna lead it. I am gonna bring Team Lou in the back end, and I'm bringing, you know, I'm bringing the same exact squad, the same exact lead. I'm making up for match number one here. I am winning this match for you guys. That's a promise. That's a promise right here. I'm winning this match. I got you guys. I got you guys. Hopefully, I got you guys. I'm feeling confident, so we'll see. We shall see. But I wonder who they're gonna lead. I'm kind of thinking the weather combo could come out here. Be a little scary, right? Iron Bundle's always scary. But it's gonna be Dragonite and Moon Moon, which, what I mean, is beautiful lead here. It is a, it's just simply a lovely lead. Same thing with Baxi here. Getting after it. I mean, Dragon Moves are a little scary, but I could protect them. I could protect them and just go Moon Blast into. Who do I go after here? It's a real question. I could Terrasalize you in a straight fairy, but I don't, I don't really feel like I need to. I got speed. One of them's gonna Terrasalize. Probably. Ah, uh, who's gonna Terrasalize here? Who was gonna Terrasalize? I mean, War Moon's Terror type is more so flying. So, you know what? I'm gonna Moon Blast this slot down. I'm gonna Terrasalize you and just drop a nice little crash into this slot. Let's see what they end up doing. Let's see what they end up doing. So I'm Terrasalize the Baxi. I don't think they're Terrasalizing. Unless they are slower than my Max Caliber. I Terrasalize into Poison just so they don't, they don't drop a Dragon shot into my Max Caliber, right? That could be a little bit of a problem. And they are going to Terrasalize. Probably the Dragonite here, right? But yeah, Dragonite's definitely getting the Terra. It's going to be Dragonite into what typing? Flying. It would have been nice to switch and go Icicle Crash into that slot and Moonblast into the other one. But we'll see what they want to do from here. Probably maybe E speed. I don't know. But now comes the moon blast. That thing's definitely multi scale. EQ's gonna fly here. Wow, EQ's scary. That's gonna be super effective on my Baxi. That hurts soul. Baxi Calibur will go first, which is big time. And Icicle Crash should KO, right? Yeah, okay. So we KO you. I like that. And we'll see what, uh, who that dragon is going after. It's gonna iron head down the floor to me, which I mean, it's not bad. That's not bad. Probably bring out Team Lou from here. I do like Team Lou. Um, we still have Surreal Edge, but Bax Copper is going to be faster than uh, than what's it going? Than the Dragonite. But he can E-Speed me. That's a problem. He can E-Speed me. So I'm going to bring out Team Lou. We'll see who they want to throw out. It's going to be Iron Bundle, which is eh. Eh, that's all right. We got, we got to get some damage off on that thing. We're going to lower Special Attack, which is bad. And I feel like we just protect Bax Calibur here. Nah, I don't really see the point of protecting back Excalibur. I think maybe we just drop a Heavy Slam into that. Get off as much damage as I can. Or I can go for an EQ. But, no, you know what? I'm just going to Heavy Slam into you. And then on top of that, if we can land an Icicle Crash, that would be cool. But we're going to go for it. Hmm. Let's see what our opponent does here. Iron Bundle's a problem. E-Speed comes out here. Yeah, I kind of saw that one coming. That one hurts the soul. So E-Speed comes out. Probably going to hide from me. If I was him, I'd just freeze dry. Because you know, higher accuracy, you don't want to risk the miss, just get off some damage. But we'll see what he wants to do. It is going to be free shy. So, great call from our opponent. Gonna deal some damage to me, but we're able to soak pretty well. So we're soaking. Heavy Slam comes out there. It does bring it down to half, which is good. So, I could protect Cerule Edge, which I'm thinking, and just get rid of the Iron Bundle, right? That's what I'm thinking of doing. Going Heavy Slam again. Actually, would Sopping Tantrum do more? I don't know, but I know Heavy Slam should be able to KO, it's doing half HP, and then just protecting the Cerule Edge here, because one of them's going after it, and I'm hoping it's the Iron B. I'm hoping Iron Bundle comes across, tries to KO my Cerule Edge, and we can kind of just go from there. Okay, so not bad. We're not looking terrible. Dragonite's a little scary due to E speed, but like, we have a Ghost type on the field. We don't have Terra, they have Terra. But there, there goes my Protect from Cerule Edge. Come on. Iron Bundle, get after him with a Hydro Pump. Let's go. That's big time. That's big time. Can you double down the Cerule Edge? That would be amazing. Highly doubt it, but that would be really cool. No, you're just going to Terra Blast into Ting Lu. That's fine. Ting Lu is going to be able to soak that, right? Correct? Yeah, and then Heavy Slam. Should KO the Iron Bundle. See you later, Iron Bundle. Get it on out of here. Of course it survives on one. Of course it survives on one. So that thing survives on one. Uh, I guess we'll just go for a Payback, and then here we'll just Shadow Sneak you down. Of course that thing survives on one. That hurts the soul, man. My soul. Hurting. It's hurting. 
It's her. Shadow Seed comes out, picks up the KO. We're kind of hoping the last Pokemon is Serene. Just so I can hit it with a Fire or Bitter Blade and get some HP back. But we'll see. Terror Blast probably going to KO my Team Louis. Probably definitely going after that again. I would believe so. Unless you're going after my Shrew Edge. I know you're going after Ting Lu. So Ting Lu does not soak. You get a crit. Come on. Why you gotta get a crit? Why you gotta get a crit? I was pretty sure we were dead to that anyways. But it comes down to a 2v1. And Shrew Edge could definitely get it done. And it's gonna be Serene. It's gonna be Serene. Um, I don't believe this thing really rocks too many good moves. So I might just Bitter Blade the Dragonite slot. And I think I'm gonna do that. I think I am gonna do that. Because I think Serene might protect you. I'm gonna make a read and say it probably protects or it goes for like a helping hand. Which it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. We're still gonna Bitter Blade and do a good amount of damage. That's a big time amount of damage. So we're gonna get back a chunk of HP. And we'll see what he wants to do here. Terror Blast comes out here again. I wish we would have KO'd there. That could have been awesome. That could have been awesome. And how much damage is that doing? That's doing a lot. What is Serene going for? You're gonna taunt me, okay? So he ends up taunting me. Bitter Blading down the Serene is gonna be the play here. Hopefully it doesn't protect. Because I need some HP back here. Right? I don't think we can get back enough HP. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to take out the screen here. We might not be able to take this thing out. Dragonite protects. That, that just won us the game, right? I think that just won us the game. If we choose to bitter blade the Serene over here. KO it here. Get back HP. We outspeed the Dragonite. He can't outspeed me. Good game. Like I said, I promise you guys a victory in match number two. And I got you guys. I got you. I got you. And yeah, that protect right there actually just uh, lost in the game. We'll take it all day. So for me, I'm just going to bitter blade because Shadow Sneak might not do enough damage. But yeah, we know he outspeed. That's big time. That's big time. Bitter blade comes out here and Cerulege clutches up match number two. Let's hop into a third and final match. Look for a winning record with another victory. Final match coming at you guys, and we're versus an Iron Moth team. I love me some Iron Moth. They also have Miascarada, a Pokemon I haven't seen in a while, Golden Go, Corviknight, Garchomp, and last but not least, Rotom. Cerule Edge is going to be great here, so I definitely want to bring in Cerule Edge. I definitely also want to bring in a Pokemon like Baxcalibur. I just really like it in this situation, so Baxcalibur, you're going to be coming in here, and I feel like I should lead Baxcalibur. I feel like Baxcalibur is going to be a great lead. I do think they lead Corviknight, so I might go Cerule Edge for that purpose. Hmm, do I want to do that, or do I want to go <coughs> into Ting Lu as lead? I don't think Ting Lu would be bad, especially if they lead a Pokemon like Iron Moth or Golden Go or Rotom. So I think Ting Lu is going to be a solid lead for us. So I'm going to go Ting Lu. I'm going to go back Scalibur. I'm going to bring Shrewledge in the back end. And then last but not least, I like Fluttermane, but Gyarados might have to be in play. Oh, I got to go Fluttermane. I got to go Flutzy. I got to go Flutz. So we're using the same team all three battles. I mean, not that big of a deal. You guys seen Gyarados and Amoongus plenty of times before, but we're looking for a winning record. Last match, got a little lucky that our opponent did protect, but we'll take that win all day. We will take that win all day. But let's see who our opponent's going to lead. I feel like I've versus this Crow person before. I 100% feel like I have. Or I feel like it's somebody I know, like somebody else who makes content. I'm not too sure. But I feel like I've versus this Crow person before. That name just looks so familiar. But Corviknight, alongside with Golden Go, is going to come out here. And they could go into... Mm, I could protect here. I do want to D-Dance. Maybe I might Terrasilize D-Dance. But I think I'm just going to protect and go into a Stomping Tantrum. Into the slot. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to protect Baxi here. We'll let Corvo do whatever it wants. Probably set up a Tailwind, right? You're gonna trick me. Golden Ghost trick me. What are you giving me? What item are you giving me, kind sir? Choice ban me or something. That'd be sick. Give me the choice scarf. I'll take it. I'll take it. You can have that assault vest. We're physical attacking. Thanks for the choice scarf. Kind sir. What do you think I was doing? Obviously, Ting Lu's attacking. I'm fine. I'll be choice all day. So now I'm choice. Um, do I terror here and D dance? I kind of want to, right? I kind of just want to tear a D-Dance and then just drop a Stomping Tantrum in the slot. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. So we're going to Terrasilize the Baxcalibur for the third match. I just like Terrasilizing because I feel like it's typing is a little eh. I feel like a lot of Pokemon have super effective moves onto it, so I like it's typing changing. But if I get off this D-Dance here and get rid of Gold to go, that'd be huge. And Gold to go is outspeeded. And this is exactly why we Terrasilize. 
That is exactly why we throw ass lines. And he cho chooses to to pivot the Corvo. Okay, so he pivots Corvo with Tailwind out on the field. Um, we're going to be able to take out Golden Go, but who's the next Pokemon that's going to come out here? It's going to be Rotom. And do I mind that? Eh. It's alright. We get off free D-Dance. And I could just protect Baxcalibur, waste out some Tailwind turns here. It's not we are going to fly here. Bop. See you later. And they bring out Rotom with Ting Lu on the field. Well, Ting Lu doesn't have the Soul Fest anymore, which kind of hurts, but still. Still, I like the ability up against these two. Lowering the special attack by 25%. But Miyaskarada now comes out here. So is going to be here. Um, I feel like from here, we're just going to protect. We're just going to allow him to make a play. We're going to force him to make a play. And... Hmm. And I think I might just heavy slam into Miyaskarada or something. Oh, I'm choosing to stop and catch him. I think I'm just going to hit into you then. So I can't hit it in the road time. Maybe Miyaskarada Sash, so this could be pretty good for us. But yeah, I'm just going to protect Baxi. I feel like now with Dragon Ants, they feel like Bax Calibur is that Pokemon. And he goes for the Protect. And you're going to change to a normal type. So you use your Protean to change to a normal type. I don't really mind that. I think Rotom's going to go after Bax Calibur anyway. Or it will just Hydro Pump my Ting Lu. But that'd be fine. Not the big of a deal. And yep, there's Hydro Pump. Can you soak that? You might be able to. I love you, Ting Lu. I love you. That thing is normal type now, and it can't switch again, which is pretty big for us, which I really, really like. So I feel like from here, we just Glaive Rush this Rotom, try to dump on it, and then stop and catch him into the Miyashkarada, who is now normal type. So it lost its uh, grass typing. So ground typing is now neutral onto it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I wonder what he's going to do. I feel like Sucker Punch has to come out here, maybe. The thing is, they have Tailwind. Tailwind's such a problem, man. And the final Pokemon's Corvo, which I'm not too worried about by itself because I have Bitter Blade, Civil Edge chilling in the back end. I also have Flutter Main, but Flutter Main's not too hot up against Corvos. But they're going to waste their Terra here, so let's see who he ends up Thrasilizing. Probably the Rotom, right? It is going to be the Rotom into what typing? I was going to say anything but Fairy, and of course it's a Fairy Rotom, which is wild. That is just wild. So now my Dragon Move's not going to be able to hit it. That's actually wild. Flower Shirt comes out here, and I think this is KO me regardless, right? No, it's not very effective. Flower Shirt just, just does so much damage. Nothing is orbed. Or orbed. Thunderbolt's gonna fly through. You're doubling down into you. You should be able to eat that too. Cool. So you're able to eat that. Glaive Rush is gonna come out here. First turn priority is still scary, but Stopping Catch is gonna fly here and chunk up some nice damage. Beautiful. Beautiful. Tailwind's gone, so now we have speed. Uh. I kind of just want to protect Baxcalibur and get rid of Miyaskarada. And the reason I want to do that is because I don't want a Sucker Punch coming out here and taking out my Baxcalibur. That's that's my main reason. So I'm going to protect Baxi here. Miyaskarada, do not protect. Cool. Oh, you, oh, oh okay. I, I see you. I see you. I see you. I feel you. I see you. I feel you. Gets off that. Um, Again, we have a speed on these guys. I just need to land some shots. I just need to land some shots. So Thunderbolt's gonna fly out here. We block it. Um, do we go Cerulech uh, for first turn priority, or do we go like a Pokemon like you? I mean, you can eat up a Sucker Punch. You really can. I just don't want the Sucker Punch going into what's it called slot, the Bax Caliber slot. That would just be a problem. It'd be a problem. So from here, I'm just gonna go into an Icicle Crash, try to take take you out and. Hmm. Why did I not realize that ghost typing is not has no effect onto that dark Pokemon? Because now Sucker Punch KO me. That was a bad call. But still, okay. He doesn't end up going into the Sucker Punch. That's fine. Isaac Crash comes out here doing some nice damage. We like that damage. And of course you are Citrus Berry. Now all the items in the game, you're rocking a Citrus Berry. So let's see. Knockoff's gonna come out here, and that's fine. You take out Bax Caliber. Uh we're gonna take out Miascarada. Wow, this match actually is going to be close. They're going to kill me with a Hydro Pump here, too. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. Miyaskarada is going to lose some HP. It does not faint. We're going to end up getting rid of you. So if Hydro Pump lands here, we die. But I still have Flutter Moon, which I don't mind Flutter Moon. Not really. Eh. Flutter Moon's I. Right. Rotom flinched. Oh, <laughs> say less. Say less. Might have just saved us. Say less. 
Say less. Quarter Knight's gonna come out here. Um, I can bitter blade down the uh, the Rotom and probably KO it, and then Fluttermane can just go into a Thunderbolt, which is gonna be awesome. Or I can do it the other way, which I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna bitter blade the Quarter Knight and and throw a Moonblast or Shadow Ball into the into the Rotom slot. Yeah, Moonblast with KO. So I'm gonna Moonblast you down, and then Bitter Blade is coming in hot here. Bitter Blade's coming in hot. So smart play from him would be protect Rotom and try to KO, and that's exactly what they're trying to do. But I think Bitter Blade should do a nice chunk of damage. Maybe not KO. This could be scary. Moonblast can come over here. It's gonna get blocked. Maybe I should just double down to Corvo, but let's see how much. Oh, you're gonna set up a Tailwind. You are going to set up a Tailwind. It's a little odd, but okay. We're gonna do that, and we one shot KO. So that's gonna be game. That is gonna be game. Awesome, awesome, cool. We get rid of Corbinate one shot. Life Orb to the Ledge is definitely MVP for today's video. But yeah, these mad, these last two matches have been stressful. I just, I just feel like I was gonna lose them, but nah, yo, we're good. We're chilling. We're chilling. But from here, Moonblast coming out here, Bitter Blade also flying out here. That's gonna be game set match. They go for a Hydra Pump, and we dodge it. We dodge it. Cool. Even better. But this Moonblast was KO, and even if they did connect it. And there it is. 2-1. We struggled in match number one. Ended up losing that one. Second match we won. Third match we also won. And we grabbed ourselves a winning record. One last huge shout out to the team creator, Clover Bells. I love this team so much. Yo, Bax Calibers for Ledge. Two awesome Pokemon from Gen 9. Got to showcase them in today's video and absolutely rip up with them. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.